Hello there guys, so not that long ago I talked about this or Avalanche launch pads basically as a place where to find some of the pre-sales uh, as one of those sort of like a places where potentially you could get in early and just because you're early uh, in a good uh, project you could make some money. With that being said, uh, if you are someone who is moving from sort of like a Binance a smart chain, you can't really use a sort of like a usual tools uh, to find all the pre-sales, let's say like pink sale. Um, because as you can see, if you go to the, if you input avalanche uh, parameters and all that stuff, literally all you can get is literally like 19 pools in total in existence that were ever launched on the pink sale itself. And there is two pre-sales, one of them is doxed and I'm pretty sure it's projects about nothing. I mean, literally there is like zero interest into any of them. Now with that being said, even though we can't really find anything, uh, there is these sort of like a projects, uh, some of them are good, some of them are Ponzi schemes uh, and rugs at the same time, Let, like let's say this rock game, mm, this is their website. And these guys launched not that long ago, uh, something like seven days ago, um, after selling out the rocks, basically, you know, they raised one and a half million dollars and they added back into the liquidity like $30,000 and, uh, you know, it was a rug uh, from a very sort of like a beginning, but the thing is, even though it wasn't sort of like a launched officially uh, through their sort of like official launch pods and stuff like that, the activity on uh, on 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 the NFT trades and stuff like that on on their currency sort of like a trading volume every 24 hours was absolutely insane. I mean, one day. Uh, these pebbles that Rock Game uses was literally trading, literally had like 3.8 million trading volume and this 10,000 of X uh, volume on NFT sales um, was done in literally like three to four days uh, before the thing crashed. Uh, so there is there is projects launching. There is just sort of like an issue of actually finding them on Avalanche. I was thinking about all this stuff. And what I came up with uh, is that um, there is this uh, there is the so-called snow trace, with, which is Avalanche uh, Chain Explorer. So the same uh, the same sort of like a tool like BCC Scan. And basically, this is the tool that you can use to sort of like analyze the contracts, analyze the tokens, analyze the holders, and all this stuff. And it, it provides you tons of information information about the blockchain itself and what is happening on it that you could use to sort of like find all the projects that are happening in front of you before they even actually happen. So if we look at the options, uh, there, is, there are several options that you can actually choose from. And if we look at the charts and statistics, uh, these are some of the statistics about the blockchain itself. And as you can see, daily transactions, charts, unique addresses and all this stuff. You can see how the blockchain is expanding and so on and, so on, and some more relevant information. With that being said, uh, there is this chart of verified contract chart. And if we press on it, as you can see, basically every single day, even though we don't really see that stuff, we don't, maybe we don't even realize, but you could say there is something uh, like at least a hundred contracts, a uh, hundred verified contracts, contracts launching on Avalanche blockchain every single day. The problem is, the problem is with finding them, and from what I think, you could basically use this Snow Trace uh, Chain Explorer as one of the tools to find all of those contracts. And hopefully, if the project is good, participate in them. So if you go to the blockchain, mm -hmm. uh, the last option called Verified Contracts. And uh, this, fun uh, this option basically shows you the last 500 contracts that, that were launched on the uh, Avalanche blockchain. So if I just expand the records to show 100 records at a time, uh, 100 contracts, verified contracts that launched on 12th of February. So let's have a look. They were verified on 12th of February, 12th of February, everything is fine. And basically what you're looking for is literally for contract names. So uh, 
and there is one called a fountain genesis reward pool so once again maybe it's some sort of like a DAO with the, all those reward pools and stuff like that there is some sort of like a game you could say time bombs branch uh, fire dragon linux coin mad meta avax and so on so on whenever people are making these sort of like a contracts vast majority of them are just copycats of one another one and there's literally nothing special about them but they like to rename their contracts to give the sort of like impression and at the same time to sort of like advertise that's their own contract that it, it represents this sort of like a particular project and they basically what they do they just rename they just rename literally the contract and usually before the pre-sale happens the devs of the project are basically experimenting trying to launch the contract a few days before uh, the project launches so let's say there's uh, this mermaid vault contract whatever that means if we press on a transaction hash you can see you can see actual contracts and stuff like that but what we actually need is only the name once you have the name just try to locate it uh, with, the, with the Google search, try to locate uh, the sort of like a groups similarly named in Discord or Telegram and uh, see what you can find. Some of these projects, uh, some of these sort of like a launch contracts, uh, it will be just sort of like a rugs, it will be a copycat, it will be Ponzi's. Some of them will be sort of like a test as you can see and some of them will be sort of like a genuine launches and preparations for the actual launch as you can see some of them has a balance of 96 AVAX tokens in it if we press on a transaction hash sometimes they like to leave even in a contract as a comment uh, you know they're sort of like a uh, name of the project and stuff like that but you get the idea the sort of like a whole thing that we need is the sort of like a name of the actual project itself and once we have that we can sort of like a start to dig and look uh, for the actual project itself for its website for its discord group telegram group and all the other good stuff to sort of like a start and assess um, the sort of like a project itself what it thought or uh, what it will offer what its idea what the problem it, it's trying to solve and so on so on uh, what the devs are known and so on so on and so on so one of the sort of like options you could use is by basically browsing this uh, uh, verified contract launches that are happening on avalanche blockchain and as you can see there is literally hundreds of them so at least a hundred contracts not a hundred less than hundred less than hundred verified contracts launched on 12th of february there are some from 11th february and earlier and so on so on so on so on uh looking further if we just go back so on this option blockchain uh, we can use this option of verified contracts to locate some of the information that could be used to sort of like identify and find uh, the sort of like a launches of the projects that are about to launch and there is this uh, option with the tokens so if we press on rc20 tokens by the market cap we'll get a top 100 of the tokens in avalanche that are going to from the largest to the smallest in the market cap so as you can see there is tether 70, 78 billion dollars in the market cap and everything is going down uh, bsd um, then goes Uniswap, or some sort of like a Frax token that I've never heard uh, about before, Maker token. And as you go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, stuff starts to sort of like a decrease, you know, from absolute billions uh, to millions and hundreds of thousands. And once again, uh, you have what you actually need is uh, basically basically the sort of like information about the project name some sort of like um, details about the project itself and then and then you just take it from there you try to sort of like find out the website you f uh, try to find out whether it was rugged or not and then you just take it from there and try to sort of like identify whether it's something that will pump uh, something that has potential and so on and so on and yeah so this sort of like a 
RC20 tokens by market capitalization is another sort of like a, one of the tools that you could actually use to sort of like get some ideas or of where to go to to sort of like find the stuff where to invest in Avalanche a smart chain at the same time uh, if we press on RC721 uh, our top tokens these are the NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and this is their tracker. And once again, you can see the sort of like a transfers in the last 24 hours, transfers in the last two days on the NFT contracts. And here you can see this rock game, this this Ponzi rug that happened literally like a week ago, almost 7,000 transfers. But nonetheless, with that being said, there is some sort of like information about the project names, about their contracts, and it will just give you the sort of like a indication of what is happening, what you could sort of like a potentially find. It will give you the sort of like a beginning, the name of the project itself. And then by sort of like a digging through and putting some effort, you'll be able to locate the project. And once you collect all the information, uh, you know, later on, uh, all comes down to your personal sort of like ability to research stuff, experience and judgment itself on how things can go. And yeah, so that's all there is to it. I thought, I thought I'll just mention this than that. And yeah, that's all there is to it, guys. So, as usual, anything I say is not a financial advice, uh, it is uh, just my personal opinion only, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for your time today. Bye.